in one two. One gun, two wings ain't that the truth So hey Bruce, still remember you're responsible for you And the same for the past you choose It's all boots and goons, rubber suits But still you won't shoot Because you became a symbol of truth You will lose your sanity to these fools And while you do, I'll be there with my goons I'll be laughing at you who chose to be right well, I don't want to be the invisible man on the show today So Yeah, well Well, I decided to uh, do it in, in the uh the garage, if you like, the workshop. Very cool. Very cool. Because this is, you know, this is, this is where all the uh, the explosives of Gotham come from, you know. <laughs> is that where the magic and happens? And a tree and a cell, most like reverse engineering, you know, like the scientists do. We do as well, clowns. Because we take things from Batman, we reverse engineer them, and uh, we make them our own. That's right. And knock the socks off of the Cape Crusader. Oh, that's right. That's right. He, he hasn't got a clue what's uh, in store for him coming soon. I don't think the rest of the free world does right yet either, my friend. Well, I'll let you in on a little bit of a secret. Yes. Some of us have stayed in Gotham City for a long time. And this time I thought I'd venture out a little bit. So I, I bumped into a couple of guys in New York City. Uh, one of them is Dr. Peter Venkman. And uh, he showed me the ropes in a different uh, kind of franchise, shall we say. What kind of ropes? That That's a little well, frightening. Well, these chaps, they all carry around what they call proton packs. So, as said, I've taken said proton pack, I've reverse engineered, and I've made a Jotron pack because I'm the Joker. So, I thought, instead of being... Uh, Running around Gotham City aiming for the living, shall we say. This time I can attack both sides of the table and I can head for the ghosts as well. That's some balance. That is some type and of balance. Hopefully, hopefully, if I'm cleaning up Gotham City, New York City, places like that, you know, Batman, he might be a little bit kinder you know, to me because, uh, as you can see, I'm not weathering too well these days. None of us are. You mentioned a doctor's name a moment ago, but it took me a moment, though, to, to for it to click. Doctor who again? Uh, Dr. Peter Venkman. He was part of an elaborate force out of um, New York City, the Big Apple. Um, they're like Ghostbusters or something along those lines. They, they sure are, buddy. They sure are. Something about a green holiday. I don't know, you know. And by the way, you're looking very sharp today, by the way, you know, if I may say so. Thank you. Thank you very much. We normally don't uh, put the suits on for when we're in the workshop. However, the colors on this suit are re really, really nice. I got this from a buddy of mine, uh, the Musician Prince. Really? That's why it well, pops not, out so much. Now, are you, you talking about the prince that, we're, that we know? Taff cap? Yes. Okay. Okay. Love taffy. Yeah. yeah. And Very the tie, and, and the tie itself is uh, one worn by Nicholson when he did his stint as the, the clown himself. Oh my That's God. That's probably where you notice the pattern from. But you've got to keep it, you've got to keep it classy because it's all, you know, it's all about the detailing. So, so we have like, we have green braces with skulls all over them because you've got to keep a bit of that in. Well, yeah. You've got to keep a yeah. bit of that in. And it saves me messing around with the belt then. You know, I'm only aware of very few gentlemen of your um, in your field that are so well-dressed. There's only actually one other one that I can think of right off the bat. And um, he's not from Emerald City. He's from Metropolis. Uh uh, from uh, the Luther Corps company. I don't know if you're familiar with Lex Luther. Um, oh, sharp, yes. Sharp dressed gentleman. Yes, I, I'm familiar. I'm familiar with Lex myself. Um, I remember when I bumped into Spider-Man, uh, Spider I bumped into Superman myself. And I, I remember when we were having a chat about uh, said Lex Luther. He wasn't happy because, like I said, he might be crooked like me. But yeah. we are the sharpest men dressed in this business. Without a doubt. 
in disguise of a fly, you no fool. As long as you got this card, it's a truth. But all you have to do is stare it up at two. And we can talk about the latitude. Meaning I'ma lift you up an attitude. I drop you in the acid while I laugh at you. As long as you got this card, it's a truth. But all you have to do is stare it up at two. And we can talk about the latitude. Meaning I'ma lift you up an attitude. Back of 1989 when I turned into this. So he did me a favor again. So yeah, I'm I'm not in uh, Superman's best books at the moment. But Lex, thank you for that, my brother. Hey, maybe... very very well appreciated. There's something to be said for having super foresight, and obviously the Man of Steel is lacking in that department. Yes. Otherwise, he would. I think. Known... I, I I think that uh, I think the problem is 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 they take things way too seriously. Well, it, that's because it's a serious world. Well, you gotta put a smile on your face every now and then, and sort of turn you back on that serious world, and get uh, the toys out. I whether the toys be uh, balloons capable of gassing cities, or they might be remote control toys that you can drive right into the Batcave and detonate from, you know, a location undisclosed, shall we say. <laughs> Just like where you're at right now, that we don't know the actual whereabouts. Yes, yes, yes. So this morning uh, during our broadcast, are you in Emerald City, Metropolis, or Gotham City? Oh. Or are you somewhere else I, altogether? I, I would say I'm in all three. Because uh, if I've got to choose, I'd rather multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> I was a fact you're asking what I'm laughing at It's like I'm Arthur Fleck, but then I'm half as mad But that was a fact you're asking what I'm laughing at It's like I'm Arthur Fleck, but then I'm half as mad I was the one who wanted made you dance to the moon And I was the one who made you do it too soon So whatever choice I chose, I chose you I told you What happened in the alley, it would mold you Look at Because we had to keep two meter distance so that was stupid, wasn't it? We so there was no point in fighting if we got to keep a two meter distance. So right. he abandoned me. Anyway, I was sat at home, and Harley Quinn, she was doing my head in. She was. So I started putting the music on, and really, in the beginning, just saying things about Batman that I wanted to say to him, but I couldn't because he was he was in lockdown. Otherwise, he would have. You would have told him what was what. Yeah. Right. Right. And I think I think he he must have heard the first one, um, and he must have got a bit nervous because I was talking about uh, you know me and him, right? Without his uh, without his permission, if you like. However, when we go back to the root of things, he he made me look like this without my permission. Well, that kind of goes without saying, though. You know, we all know, I think we all kind of have an idea of, you know, the horrible day that you suffered that terrible misfortune, you know. But thanks thanks to that one gesture, though, look, we've been, we've been inundated with nothing but Joker faces ever since, you know. Oh, yes. And, and oh, some yeah. of us totally love it, while others, you know, still are totally fearful of it. Um I'm not exactly sure where I sit yet. I'm. I'll have to wait and see. But it is no, very... no. You're you're fine. Okay. You're perfectly safe. I don't know about that. No, you're, you're perfectly safe from me. <laughs> I shouldn't have pushed him. Off. I shouldn't have pushed him off the chair. What have you done to him and Wired and Chromatic? What oh. are they oh, alive? Have... They are, they are. Um, they're making, they're making music. Is you it know? good music though? Uh, they're making, they're making fantastic mu music. Okay. However, however, it might not be the music they want to make because uh, I'm still forcing them to a certain point. That's what I was afraid of. So to you a certain haven't point. swayed them over to your dark side, then. 
necessary. Not, not, not quite, not quite. But, but, low rider, he's proving promising, proving promising. Reminds me of Robin, right? Because there's only so much you can take before it makes or breaks you. <laughs> we need SOM. We need and, our soldiers and, of monochrome. Oh, yeah. The soldiers of monochrome. They're, yeah. They're, the soldiers of monochrome. And I, I want to be in a little band. And they said they're not running a circus. And then, so I made them make another, another four beats. I, I, I totally get what you're saying. And and you've actually, thank you for putting my mind at ease, knowing that they're all right. So I, so I tell you what, I tell you what, I'll make you, I'll make you a deal. Um, I gotta, I gotta go and check on them, haven't I? So what we'll do is in the future, and now I know how this technology works, <laughs> oh. I'm going to take over your broadcast again. <laughs> but right. this time, I'm going to go mobile with it, like Bane, we're going to go mobile. And then I might actually go to where I kept them. Show you my little pets. <laughs> okay. That... My, my, my three little pets. <laughs> Two are, well, they all rap, but one makes videos, one one does the beats, and, and one does the singing. But, but they're fantastic pets. Sounds like a sounds like a super hip hop trio from the UK to me. Oh, they they're fantastic pets. They are fantastic. They are, yeah. They are. Lucky for you that that you haven't heard them though, because they've got a growing fan base. No, that's that's right, and, and they've been good as gold. I I think along the lines of this, don't don't bite the hand that feeds you. So that's why they haven't bitten me yet. <laughs> ben Hart is like a Martha Fleck, but then I'm half as mad. I was the one who one who made you dance to the moon, and I was the one who made you do it too soon. So whatever choice I chose, I chose you. I told you what happened in the alley, it would mold you. Look at you now, you turned into the bat, and now it owns you. It's the reason that you're giving it the old you. You're running around this town, you fight clowns, and so it's old you. One of the five. So what I'm thinking is, if it, if it picked up a bit of traction, they might have a bit of faith in, in, in the clown and realise, even though I was a low down dirty boy tying them up to do it, it, it was all part of the plan, wasn't it? And then we all benefit. Well, we do. Yeah, we benefit from it. That's for sure. So I guess for that, in that respect, then thank you for tying them up, I guess, you know, and holding them captive long enough to record your stuff which is actually really great by the way i need to say this, this card fantastic good track thank, thank you thank you thank you very much i mean I, I i'm no music reviewer and i don't know much about music so you know it's just um i just i report the news that's pretty much what i do and that, that well that's that's no problem at all. You keep reporting the news, but don't don't report any of it to Batman because he's jealous. I can't keep the Cape Crusader from tuning in from time to time. Oh, uh, well, we, we, you should. Should have an anti bat jamming up on the roof. Next time I, I take over, uh, I'll show you how to do it. Will you bring one with you? I could do. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I, I could do. Okay. Well, I get, well, I get my gang to bring it. Because I, I don't kind of lift all the heavy stuff no more. That's okay. We like seeing your henchmen anyway. Yeah, they 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 do a lot for me. I I'm packing in. I got a lot of things to go through, including all you. Maybe make a new crew, new parents he could hold to. But back then it was a cold shoe. Me and my crew, we made moves to go you. You went for the face, we took the last of what you won't do. Me and my crew, we made moves to go you. You went for the face, we took the last of what you won't do. As long as you got this card, it's a truth. But I over. However, I can tell though that um our sponsors are only letting us um uh stay afloat for another couple of moments. So, um, with that being said. What is uh what is your word to the world today? <laughs> my my word to the world is to be yourself. Even if it brings out something like this in you, you can always laugh it off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Productions and the Soldiers of Monochrome. It's a special presentation of Mr. J. Good man. Thank you very much. No, thank see, you very much. See, see now that my little message to the soldiers of monochrome, and I'll show them this, is that when I go and see them and I untie them again just for the their hours walk, right? If they did it like you just did it, there'd be no need for rope, there'd be no need for tape, nothing. Yeah, so while I laugh at you, I might insist, I might insist, oh, did a man become a battle? Did he handle that? He's mangled and tangled inside a tragic past he won't escape from. He should have done it like me and got it banging like the H bomb. I don't care if it's wrong, I'll be sharing a song. It won't be long until I'm here, then I'm gone. I'm like Bruce, but then again, I got a job. A job of giving golf and what it should have cost. Don't what it should have lost. <laughs>